A function f is defined for x is bigger than a half and is such that f dash x is equal to 3 times 2x minus 1 to the power of a half minus 6. 1. Find the set of values of x for which f is decreasing. When f is decreasing, this corresponds to when the gradient is negative. So f dash x is the gradient function. So basically, we want to know when the gradient function is negative or when f dash x is less than zero. So when f dash x is less than zero, that corresponds to three multiplied by two x minus one to the power of a half minus six is less than zero. So all we need to do is just solve this inequality for x. So if we do that, It gives 2x is less than 5, therefore x is less than 5 over 2. So this means that the gradient is negative for these x values. The gradient is negative when x is less than 5 over 2. And it says that the function f is defined for x is bigger than a half or bigger than 1 over 2. So we also need to take this into account. So we need to combine x is greater than 1 over 2 and x is less than 5 over 2. If you draw a number line and a half is here, 1 is here, 3 over 2 is here, 5 over, oh, 5 over 2 is roughly over here. So the first requirement is that the gradient is negative. So that corresponds to x being less than 5 over 2. So that corresponds to this region and so on all the way to the left for the gradient being negative. But the function is only defined for x is bigger than a half. So we need to take that into account as well. So x is bigger than a half corresponds to this region. So from a half all the way to the right to positive infinity. So the requirement is that it has to satisfy both x is less than 5 over 2 and x is bigger than 1 over 2. Therefore, it corresponds to the overlapping region in the middle over here. And the region would be x is bigger than 1 over 2, but less than 5 over 2 like this. Two, it is now given that f of one is equal to minus three, find f of x. So from part one, we are given that the function f is defined for x is bigger than a half and f dash x is equal to three times two x minus one to the power of a half minus six. And we know that when we differentiate f, we get f dash x. Therefore, we can get f from f dash x if we integrate it. So we can find function f by integrating f dash x. So that's integrating 3 times 2 minus 2x two minus 1 to the power of a half minus 6dx. So when you integrate something, you can integrate the expression separately. So I'm going to integrate the two functions, the two parts of the expression separately like this. So to integrate 3 times 2x minus 1 to the power of a half, we can use substitution. So if you let u equals 2x minus 1, then du over dx is equal to 2. If you rearrange for dx, dx would be equal to du over 2. So we can use this substitution, u equals 2x minus 1 and dx equals du over 2 to replace the terms in the integral, to turn the integral into square integral of 3u to the power of a half du over 2. You can take the numbers outside the integral, so it turns into 3 over 2, integral of u to the power of a half du, which is something you can integrate. So you integrate this like you normally do. So 3 over 2 multiplied by plus 1 to the power and divided by that number. So u to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2. Therefore, the integration of 3u to the power of half du over 2 is equal 
to u to the power of 3 over 2. And then we can use the substitution u equals 2x minus 1 to substitute that u to turn it back into terms of x. So that means it equals 2x minus 1 to the power of 3 over 2. Now for the second part of the integral, the integration of 6 dx is easy, so that's just 6x. So fx is the addition of the two integrals. So fx is equal to 2x minus 1 to the power of 3 over 2 minus 6x. And don't forget to plus c because there could be a constant term there that when you differentiate, it disappears. So we need to find c in order to find the full value of fx. And if you look back at the question, it gives us another piece of information that f of 1 is equal to minus 3. Remember in mathematics, if they give you a piece of information, it means that you have to use it. So this, info, this piece of information is meant to be used to find c. If f1 is equal to minus 3, that means that if you substitute 1 into the function, it should give minus 3. So if you substitute 1 into the function that you have, we get that expression, which we can use to solve for c. So that turns into 1 plus 6 plus c equals minus 3. And solving for c, c is equal to 2. And you can just put this back into the c over there. So fx equals 2x minus 1 to the power of 3 over 2 minus 6x plus 2.